Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be painting this gorgeous butterfly in acrylics and I'm going to be talking about my painting process throughout. Sometimes when I start a painting I start with the subject matter and other times I start with the background. For this particular painting I decided to start with the background as I really wanted the butterfly's lines to be very crisp and precise which is a lot different to when I paint puppies. I started off by painting the whole background a light beige colour just to get rid of that white to give me a reference colour and then I mixed some earthy greens just to give the leafy effect in the background. I can't say that I've had much experience painting blurry backgrounds before but I thought a good approach would be to keep all of the paint as wet as I can before blending the colours into each other. After I laid those initial colours down for the background I then decided to refine it a little bit further to get rid of those harsh patchy lines. Once I was relatively happy with the background, it was time for the main piece, the butterfly. I have to say that this was quite an enjoyable part of the process as it felt like I was painting a stained glass window. I felt that every line was very precise and it was enjoyable as it was very different to painting, say fluffy puppies for instance. I used Mars Black as a base just to get those main lines down. This is probably a good time to talk about why I picked a Monarch Butterfly in particular. The reason I picked the Monarch Butterfly was that it is very recognisable and it's just so beautiful with the vibrant oranges. They're often found in native and South America, but they're also in other warm places too. Once I'd blocked out all the black colours, it was then time for me to start working on this little flower that this butterfly is sitting on. I did this by mixing vibrant yellows and reds together to create this really vibrant hot orange colour for the flower. I then added some more brown tones on the underneath area of the flower to give some shadow and then also worked towards the centre of the flower trying to define the innermost part of the flower as well as the petals. Once I was happy with the petals it was time to work on the green part of the flower so I was using a mixture of earth tones but also some really light bright greens. At this point in the painting I wasn't too worried about the exact placement of colours, I just wanted to get rid of that plain white background. I then mixed some colours to use for the butterfly itself. In this particular stage I was focusing on each section and trying to pick out the light oranges and dark oranges as I really knew that I had to have the paint wet in order to create this soft seamless blend as butterflies have a very smooth texture so I wanted to make this wing seem like it was very smooth and believable. You'll probably notice that the back wing has a lot more browner tones in it and it's a lot more muted whereas when I start painting this front wing as there's no shadows necessarily on it it has a lot more brighter and yellow tones. Overall I found this butterfly really fun to paint especially as I was tackling each part of the wing section by section which was defined by these black lines. It's really a completely different way to how I'd approach a regular animal 
and it was really interesting to try and challenge myself in this way by painting section by section. I'd say the most fun part of the painting process was definitely adding the details of these really light yellowy orange spots at the top of the wing and along the sides as they have like a semi-transparent look which I never really noticed on butterflies before but this really adds to the completeness of the details of this butterfly. It was also really fun to add these really white light highlights as it just takes away from that black and makes this painting look a lot more three-dimensional and less flat. There was also something really relaxing about drawing all these dots and not having to worry too much exactly where they were placed as I felt like with every dot the piece was really coming together. This butterfly piece was actually so fun to make, probably one of my favourite animal paintings that I've made so far. It's just so different as an animal artist to paint something with such a smooth texture, so it's something that I'll look out for in the future if there be any more animals with smooth textures I can challenge myself to paint. Next up, it was time to refine these little legs of this butterfly. As they have very distinct joints, it was really important that these legs look smooth and rigid as they do on a real butterfly. What really made these legs look glossy was that I added a touch of grey and white to give that sheen. And right now you're watching my second session in which I took a fresh perspective on my painting. Sometimes it just really helps to take a step back or take a day's break and see your painting in a new perspective. As I'd already filled the canvas with colours, I could use this as a reference in order to slightly correct or adjust them. So I spent quite a bit of time working on this flower and also trying to get the right values in the green part of the flower also. And you can really see the rich tones come through as I do this. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching my painting process. This is a welcome addition to my alphabet series. I've done Chameleon for C and next up is D. So I'll see you around for the next one guys. Bye!